Uh, what's going on, guys? We are back with some more NCAA football. 14 Dynasty mode. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame <coughs> show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. They do things bigger in Texas, and Darrow K. Royal Memorial Stadium on the Texas Longhorns campus is one of the biggest. The Texas Longhorns White is on the field to kick this one off and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback uh, here comes the guy that we've all been waiting for our player to watch this game Fletcher's vision his patience Kirk behind center really makes him a complete player and Brad both of those attributes are especially important anytime you're out on the road and you're playing in a hostile environment this kid is really cool under pressure, and no matter how loud this crowd's going to get today, I don't think he's going to have much of a problem of blocking them out and playing his game. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Fletcher only gets about a yard there on the option keeper. It's second and nine. Ball on the 26. Pitch out, got the corner. He takes it right side for a good game. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. was the intended target. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. And our freshman punter. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 27-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And that's me of tackle after the run up six. The Mitchell with a tackle. Be a first down midfield and a lot more. And he's brought down at the 37. Now that is exactly how you draw off the option. When this yeah, offense is executing the option effectively, they are a tough team to stop from moving the ball. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Quick throw, and they make the and stop nice at the 32. Colton Perkins. That'll make it third and five. Roger, Roger. Mike, 50, Mike, 50. You can't block me. You can't block me. Yeah. Pressure coming. And he's going to get a game of the yard. 
He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop. What the hell? In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. And it goes out of the end zone for the touchback. The Longhorns really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbert. One of the great traditions in college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. The first catch of the season goes to Zach Harper. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Breaks one. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. These corners are showing that they're not afraid to come up and make a hit. Even if they aren't playing pass, they know how to disrupt the play. such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure especially on third down stays in bounds to make a nice catch that's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. From the 40-yard line, first down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Let's go, let's go. Dog, pick up. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Here's the eighth play of the series. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. From their own 31-yard line, first down. Across the middle. Tack 
Driscoll at the 38-yard line. Well, these guys lost a lot of talent to graduation last year, and they got to put some new faces in there. And this guy looks like he's the real thing, and he can help in that area. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. From the 41 yard line, second down. And he's taken down right around the 42 yard line. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. Third down. I'm here all day. I'm here all day. Hey, hey, back up. Hey, you ain't kidding me. Switch, switch, switch. Almost a big play. He patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder, though he didn't make the catch like one. That'll make it fourth and 14. Washington awaiting the return. Now this no fun. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And Cruz makes the catch. At about the 39-yard line. He picked up the blitz. That makes it first and ten. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. Fires out to his receiver. Clayton. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. So at the end of one, still no score. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Seven John Cooper. That's a gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Here's a receiver screen. Ball's incomplete. about three yards to get the first down here on third down. I said a chance he'd be brought down before getting to the marker. It was a great effort there to get beyond for the first down. The 21. First, that's game one. That brings up second and nine. Hey. 
from the 21 yard line. Second down. Mike 51, Mike Quarterback 51. all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick strike and he drops it. And on. that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. This is the ninth play of this drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's tackled around the 12-yard line. Nice catch that time in coverage. Yeah, excellent job of hauling that one in. This is why he's considered by many to have one of the better set of hands today in college football. This is the tenth play of the drive. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. LSU gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll give it off here. He's tackled in the open field. Bird gets about a yard on the play. He's gonna get sacked. Jay Austin with the first sack. White is waiting for the snap. He gets out to about the 38 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he's immediately caught. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. LSU is up a score. Caught bullet for the first down. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 31. 21 yards. That makes it first and 10. Three yards to get the first here on second down. Pass right, running back's got it. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Taking back a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Easy, easy. They come out on an empty backfield. Got 
Mm -hmm. I think Fletcher's going to get sacked. Doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this game, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm, and almost seems to be throwing the football, he's up, feeling and the, the right pressure, down and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. And he splits the uprights. A quick update now. Here's Reese. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Henderson set to return. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Tackles him hard at the 34. That's a game of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. And they make the stop at the 44 yard line. That's he's clever. it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Gain of two on the play. Not over here. That makes it second and eight. Not over here. Yeah, do they just like not look at kicker or something? He makes his way to about the 42. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Scrambling around. There he goes. And he's tackled right around the 34. So the quarterback scrambles for about eight yards. Quick out to the receiver. He's at the 20. The Longhorns taking their first time out of the half. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. <coughs> from the 12-yard line, first down. He gets out to about Nothing. the 12-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. Texas will have one timeout remaining. This is the eighth play of this drive. And that's gonna be a touchdown. touchdown he just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. The draw within a field goal. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Fletcher's been known to be such a great quarterback, but when you sit down with him in person and you look at him, you see that smile, and he just sort of exudes that confidence that you want in a guy that's playing under center. We saw that this week. Absolutely, Brad. I can remember earlier this week when he walked out of our meeting, I looked over at you, and we just kind of kind of nodded our heads in agreement that this kid kind of has that it factor that you look for from quarterbacks. Obviously, he's very talented, but I think he has the confidence that you're speaking of and I think he just brings the intangibles to the table. And, and so far, how can you not be impressed with everything that he's done? Well, he's had it in the first half so far. There's a laser across the middle. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. That makes it first and 10. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And what a play! I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. 
That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. From their own 42 yard line, it's second down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. LSU holds a field goal lead. And that's and incomplete. incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. is a pretty controversial call. I really would have expected them to punt this ball. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. The Tigers are going to call their second timeout. First down. Kill, 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 kill. Yellow three. <laughs> They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He is drilled me a sack. I mean, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. He throws left. That's Smith. Around the 26-yard line. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Tenth play of the drive. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. LSU is up a field goal. That's broken. Receiver, and he can't make the grab. four-yard line. It's second down. And he's in. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a 12-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You know, you could throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. So our score, 17-7. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. We've still got a half of football remaining. LSU's got a 10-point lead. Here we Welcome go. back, we'll everybody. Second half action off. about to begin. Perkins deep to return. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. That was a big touchdown between the end zone. Just a four. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. 
Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Yeah, I don't know how much the freshman is. Taken down behind the line. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he shoved out of bounds at the 33. Oh, fourth down. Washington is back to receive. And this one is a beauty. And he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. You know, about nine. So they're just about set to get the game going again. They come out in a five-wide set. And Pitt Even though they didn't sack set. him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 31-yard line, second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Got it, and brought down the makes a nice catch. Catch. Fair catch made at the 15 yard line. <coughs> Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. They'll knock him down for a loss. Call the loss of one yard of the play. Brian Mitchell with five times. From their own 14-yard line. Second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's taken down at about the 25-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He scrambles. Brought down at the 26-yard line. That's for the first down. First down. Five wide. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. Nichols. with five wide receivers. And he's 
taken down around the 47 yard line. He's tackled after getting the first down. What a pick! Higdon's the kind of guy that makes big plays on the ball all game what long. What a pick! Recruited because he's got One a nose the football, and then he's got the speed and the ball skills to make interceptions like that one. One-handed interception. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47. D <laughs> dead. At the 42. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike the linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks. First and ten. All on the 42. Hit the to get in there and sack the quarterback. This lineman can overpower anybody on the offensive line. He's the kind of player you have to redesign your blocking schemes around. He's going right. This one will fall incomplete. Nice job nice. getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And they make the stop and got around it. the 32 yard line. First down. You got the first down. the 28-yard line. Second down. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dive package. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. It's the ninth play of the drive. Play and he's get the first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 18 yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. And that's going to be pricked by Moore. He's into the open field. What kind of call is that? With a big lead, you're throwing the football, and the interception here could end up costing you. From the 31 yard line, first down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Colton Perkins. Get 
We're gonna call screen and Fires it's that quickly out. to the tailback. They'll bring him down. First down. Yard line. Well, the defensive line has to do a better job there of feeling that screen out. And a lot, a lot of times the offensive line will dictate whether or not it's going to be a screen pass or not. And when they feel and sense the offensive lineman releasing out to get out in front of the screen and to be able to try to make a play downfield, again, the defensive line is the key for any defense and being able to slow down the screen pass. Dumps it complete over the middle. That's going to be a first down or second down. That makes it second and six. And here comes Texas. Another carry. Makes it to the five. And Terrence Bird. That makes it first and goal. So they get about three on the draw. From the two-yard line, yes, in second down. Line. They're looking to defend that goal line with five defensive linemen. And nothing. Defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line Stuffed. of Stuffed. That makes it 30 goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. Big. So at the end of the third quarter, LSU leads it 17-7. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Roger, Roger. Mike 50, Mike 50. Check Mike, check Mike. That's Good incomplete. job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So the offense stays on the field here. It's fourth and goal from the four. That's me touchdown. Oh, man. Touchdown. points against it in a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine play, 31 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game. And every possession is going to count from here on out. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fires it out. He's tackled in the open he field. He won't quite get the first. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. So yeah, we're not going to kill me. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. LSU is up by three. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Defense will normally bottle up a sneak pretty quickly. That certainly didn't happen there. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. Let's make these babies 
And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. And Cooper can't really go anywhere. taken down immediately. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Tigers kept climbing and scratching their way back in this football game. You can never count anybody out, I guess. Isn't it amazing to see what momentum can do in college football? This team right now has captured momentum. It's on their side. Now can they ride that wave to the end and try to win this game? This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's out to the 30, and he hits him hard at the 33-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. makes the tackle at the 36-yard line. Makes it second and six. They'll spread the field with five wide. Check Check he gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 40. Dave Murphy. Just under three to go in regulation. Scrambling. He's going to get sacked. For a loss. LSU is going to use their first time out of the half here. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. And they're gonna he did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. White is the punter. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's taken down at the 23. Good first down for this game to lock. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. From their own 22-yard line. It's second down. Room around the corner. He's pushed out of bounds. Around the 31 yard line. Who's giving us time? Shit. down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down there he goes decides to slide texas will take a timeout that's their first of the half <sighs> Thank you. 
Just under two to go in the game. Nice run up the middle. The Longhorns are going to call their second timeout. By Cooper. It's second and five here. Ball on the 44-yard line. Only have a timeout left. And they get nice yardage on that run. The Longhorns using their third and last timeout. Cooper picks up about four yards on the play. And this is the play <coughs> that is going to decide the game. Got it, they said. First down as time ticks away. Huge, huge first down. The defense desperately needed a stop there. First down, 10 to go. He makes it out to maybe the 49 yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. This is the eighth play of this drive. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. up a field goal and LSU goes into Texas and gets the win really great game to watch both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one 17-14 Tiger Signed six five stars. Holy shit.
How could you drain? Okay, yeah, he's a wide receiver. Cool. Is this guy a tight end? He's six two. Actually, yeah, he may be quarterback. Guards blown up. Holy shit. Yeah, we're really going to recruit and tackles. Give us that. He's a blocking tight end with Anyway, yeah, I think, yeah, that'll do it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good one, and bye.